Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times. Somehow as a planet made it to Thursday morning, January 28th, 2016. And I need to do a fairly quick rant. I'm off to meet a real estate agent to go waste a real estate agent's time here in paradise and St. Croix Virgin Islands, not that I can afford, not that I can afford to buy a tin roof shack in paradise here, but anyway, uh, I just do brief comment, I, you know, I know I promised you and myself that I, that I was done with the Ammon Bundy shit, but of course, I cannot let the latest news of the great capture of Ammon Bundy and Pete Santilli uh, and the shooting uh, of one of these goddamn beef ranchers uh, go escape the old eco-Nazi without some comment. And I want you to understand that the only thing I know at this point, all I know, the total amount of facts that I understand from the mainstream media is that the cops, I don't even know whether it was, I think it was a local yokel or it might have been FBI, some sort of cop shot and killed a rancher, I guess on US 395 up there, and captured Ammon Bundy and his brother and uh, that uh, Alex Jones clone, Pete Santilli, and I think four or five other of those guys. And uh, so this is all I know about it on purpose because I want to do this rant to see about how much of the stuff I called right. So, my, you know, my, my whole feeling about this, uh, about this shootout between a cop and a beef rancher. You know, <laughs> it, this is kind of like, like from the eco-Nazi perspective, this is kind of like the, uh, I don't know, a redneck white boy Bubba version of the Bloods and the Crips shooting, uh, shooting it out with each other. Well, like, like, who gives a damn uh, who won that shootout? Uh, who do I have more contempt for, cops or beef ranchers? Uh, if I had to choose two groups of people that I can do without on this planet, it would be cops and beef ranchers. So, you know, either way this one goes, kind of like a shootout between the Bloods and Crips is uh, on, on, on either side, it is a victory for the planet. But I guess I will say it was a little bit more of a victory for the planet that the cop, and my guess he was this some Bubba, uh, trigger happy Bubba from the police state uh, that that killed the guy. But anyway, it was a little more victory for the planet uh, that the cop took one of these uh, took one of these bastards down. And, and and I'm just guessing here on some level it's going to turn out that it was suicide by cop. My guess is, is that this Yahoo probably shot first that this idiot uh, thinking what, what was he thinking assuming he did shoot first and uh, I you know I, I think we, we should to get what we should do with all of the cops and all of the beef ranchers we should we should pair them off every beef rancher who's grazing their cows on public lands ought to pair off with a goddamn Bubba redneck trigger happy cop, send them down to the OK Corral and sell tickets. And uh, let them, you know, give them their 10 paces, give them their 10 paces, and let them, let them fire away. And uh, they would take care of half the problem of beef ranchers and trigger happy cops, I think. That that's a good place for trigger happy bubbas and beef ranchers, and of course, 
if you had to, uh, my guess is that these two guys, if they had not met in the middle of, what was it, US 395 uh, in their shootout, if they had just met at some local watering hole, uh, these two Bubba's probably would have been pretty good friends. They could have talked about how no wolf, I'm, I'm sorry, the only good wolf is a dead wolf. My guess is both of these men would have agreed that the only good wolf is a dead wolf, and by extension, I'm sure they would agree the only good eco-Nazi is a dead eco-Nazi. Um, now, a hundred and at least 150 years ago, if not now, they certainly would have agreed that the only good Indian is a dead Indian. It's the you know it's the same mentality the the beef ranching and trigger happy cop mentality pretty much the same mentality uh, so that's what we ought to do with the beef ranchers and the Bubba cops send them off to the OK Corral uh, and, I, and, and, and I don't know who I would cheer on as I say uh, no matter how the the duel went, it would be a victory for the planet. Uh, I assure you that that every wolf, bison, prairie dog is celebrating the news today. We have one less beef rancher on the planet. Hallelujah. One more. I'm sorry, one less, one less beef rancher on the planet. It's called thinning the herd, I believe is what that guy uh, would call it. Thinning the herd. Yes, and now as far as this Ammon Bundy character and his brother, I can't remember his brother's name. Now I do hope that uh, they, they throw the book I, ho I do hope they have their day in court with the hanging judge that, of course, their daddy Cliven never had. Uh, I, I, I hope that son of a bitch spends the rest of his life in prison. And uh, so at least he'll be an unemployed beef rancher, he and his brother. I won't. Will I go quite as far as saying the only good beef rancher is a dead beef rancher? I won't go, you know, even I won't go that far, but I will certainly say the only good beef rancher is an unemployed beef rancher. So I hope every damn one of them they got was a goddamn beef rancher. Now, of course, this guy Pete Santilli was uh, rounded up in the in the big raid yesterday. You know, I don't know this Pete Santilli. Never heard the guy's voice. I I think that Pete Santilli is is just one of these Alex Jones, one of these right wing conservative, clueless moron assholes. Uh so my heart is not exactly bleeding for the fact that he got caught in this dragnet. Uh, but I, I, you know, I have a little bit of a problem to the degree that you could call Pete Santilli a, a journalist. Morning, morning. You, you know, I do have a little bit of a problem with, uh, with the police state arresting journalists and putting them in the same camp with the same charges as these idiots taking over a, uh, a, a national wildlife refuge. And, you know, the, I guess the, the, but the main point about this whole thing, you know, the day this happened, the, the very day that these redneck Cretans took over that federal building is the very day, as I mentioned, that they should have, if they had gone in there, if the goddamn FBI and the Harney County Sheriffs 
all of this police state working together had put a barricade across the road leading into the National Wildlife Refuge right at the gate, right at the gate if they had blocked all cars going in and out, if they had shut off the electricity, shut off the water, jammed the internet and the cell phones, and laid siege to those idiots, this entire thing would have been prevented. And uh, I, I just don't get it. Uh, apparently, I, I, I'm assuming that today, this very day, that they've got power and water and internet and so on. And the power and water, of course, your tax dollars are paying for. Uh, it, it, if they had just, you know, just done that, it, Pete Santilli wouldn't have been there. He obviously arrived after uh, they had a chance to put the barricade up. The guy who's dead, I don't know whether he was one of the original members or just drove on up there and, and, and waved at the cops driving in. I've never understood this for, for three weeks that, the, that this goddamn Ammon Bundy, he seems to just have free passage that he's been driving back and forth off the refuge. He, he's showing up at the, you know, in downtown Burns and at the goddamn fairgrounds and uh, I think the high school gymnasium. Is this like each morning he would get up and, and drive out of the refuge, wave at the cops, go have his little public meetings, probably get a couple of cheeseburgers at McDonald's and Burns, and then turn around and go back to the, the I don't get it. You know, as I mentioned before, as a year old eco-Nazi, I go scalloping in a canoe and four feet of water without a diver's down flag. This is my biggest crime of my entire life. So, so him on Little Tail, even before he was an eco-Nazi, back when he was a, a successful real estate agent, goes looking for scallops in four feet of water without a diver's down flag and is immediately arrested. Yet, Ammon Bundy, for three weeks, has been driving back and forth. There, of course he turned in into, you know, it's, it's been a joke. They, these goddamn Keystone cops completely bungling this. Imagine if, uh, as I said on my very first rant, if, if, if John Trudell or Russell Means or somebody, you know, one of those Indian activists had actually taken over a, uh, a, a, a former their, the site of their village 150 years ago, it, it, it wouldn't have lasted one day before they went up in a fireball. And the reason for it is, is that these goddamn cops are, the police state is the same goddamn mentality uh, of, of these ranchers. They're a bunch of goddamn rednecks. You know? And, uh, and I guess uh, there's, there's still a few of them left up there. Are they going to get the message at this point? Barricade the road. Shut off the electricity. Shut off the water. Jam the internet and the cell phones. And wait those big rancher he men out. And uh, they'll come crawling. They'll come crawling out. Uh, it wouldn't have gone on this long if they had done that three weeks ago. So, uh, we'll see how this plays out. I, I am virtually 100% sure that Alex Jones, uh, last night, that the centerpiece of his rant was how uh, the, the rogue police state. Uh, killing them innocent ranchers You know, all I can say is hallelujah, we have one less 
No, as I say, we, we certainly have one less beef rancher who will not be running his cows on our public lands for eternity, and hopefully the other beef ranchers, namely Ammon Bundy, will not be running their cattle on our public lands for the next 50 years. And uh, I don't know how long Pete Santilli will be off the air. I just wish to hell it could have been Alex Jones instead of Pete Santilli. But I would like to promise you once again that this is my final M and Bundy rant. Although I'm sure I'll come back with another one after uh, M and Bundy has been sentenced to see what uh, the feds do with that idiot. And with that, I'm going to wrap up this little rant of the day because I'm running late and got to go meet some. Sancho Ponza and I have to go meet a realtor, waste a real estate agent's time. Sancho's not feeling very good today. Why aren't you feeling very good? I don't know, Pop. I do not feel very good. So my poor little sick puppy and I heading off into paradise. Bye, guys. Why not? Pop, I don't feel good.